Hey there, welcome to another episode of Making Dough Show where you and I get together every week talking about ways we can grow a restaurant and turn it into a making dough machine that thrives without our involvement. If you're interested in those topics, be sure to subscribe so we can stay in touch. And in this episode, we're talking about the two hardest parts about the restaurant business. You think um, it's the food, is it the customers? It actually isn't. And in this video, we're exploring those. The hardest, hardest part about being in the restaurant business is money. And that's why, again, this show, we're talking about making dough. If you ain't got dough, there's nothing to work with. So, restaurant is expensive. You need capital, you need to pay expensive rent. Labor is high, taxes, insurance, all kinds of stuff that goes into the restaurant industry. If we're not making money, and every month we're losing money, sooner or later we're gonna run out of gas and we need to close our doors. It is a vicious industry. Many restaurants don't make it. The stats are outrageous, heartbreaking. Uh, restaurants that don't make it. Money matters. You're in business, this is a restaurant. We need money, and whatever money we have, we need to keep most of it. That's why it is critical to be obsessed with our numbers, whether it's labor, whether it's food costs. Where is every dollar going? We make it every drop is made. I mean, the profit margin in a restaurant is not the highest. You need to be obsessed with the numbers. That's why as a restaurant manager and as a restaurant owner, when you look at your calendar, have you dedicated blocks of time where you spend time on money generating activities? If you and I are not generating the money, we're not sowing seeds, who is going to do that? Who's going to do that for us, right? So we need to have blocks of time dedicated in money generating activity, activities that are going to generate money over and over and over for us. The second hardest part about being in the restaurant industry is the people. 98% of uh, our time is spent thinking about our people. Part of it is because, you know, once you are past the money part, once your restaurant's profitable, then it comes worrying about staff. They quit, they come, they go, they are going through a rough season in life, their performance goes up, their performance goes down. We need them, we need our people. We cannot do restaurant without the help of our people. They play a role in our success and they're very, very important. And they take a lot of our time, especially if we wanna do this well. That's why it is critical when you look at your calendar, when you look at um, your week, you must have blocks of time dedicated to your people, meeting with them, reviewing uh, their performance last week, documenting how things are going, training and obsession with training. What, how are you gonna take them to the next level every single week? What's going on in their life? How can you help? Whatever it is going on, so they will serve our customers better. You must be constantly hiring, constantly training, constantly documenting everything, and sadly, constantly firing people. And I know I've said the word training multiple times, but one of the things in our company is that we are obsessed with a training system that is scalable and everybody has got to be getting some sort of training every week. I don't care how long you've been in this company, you're always training because if you're not training, you're dying and we really don't want to be having dead bodies around here. The two hardest part about the restaurant business, one is money and one is your people, our team. These two can be your greatest liability and your greatest asset. So, again, to wrap this up, we need to have blocks of time dedicated to marketing our business every single week, no matter things are going well, no matter things are going bad. And as well, we need to have blocks of time dedicated in meeting with our staff one-on-one, -on -one, two of them, three of them, communicating, training, all the time, every single week, that is our goal. If we get a handle of those two things, if money is going good and our people are doing well, they're trained and you don't need to babysit them, life is going to be much, much easier as a restaurant owner. In this channel, I am committed in helping you get there, making dough, having a restaurant that thrives without you because you have the people in place and they know exactly what they need to do and then they do it. 
Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Consider subscribing to this channel about what we're talking about. If you have any questions and comments and thoughts, comment below or send me an email to makingdoshow at gmail.com where we continue to have these conversations and how we can help one another grow our restaurant into something big. And I hope to see you next week right here in Making Dough Show.